Toronto Maple Leafs outlasting the Tampa Bay Lightning 4-3 in overtime. JB, I'll start with you here. Is this just a little bit of a a balancing out from the hockey gods here? Yeah. Just a tad where you go, ah, the Leafs shouldn't have won that. They weren't the better team. They were outmatched. Uh, the ice was tilted at times. But, hey, guess what? Uh, not the best team on a particular night doesn't always have to win. Yeah. You know, you can look at the Leafs recent history and watch them pour 15 pucks on Carey Price in overtime before one goes back the other way and goes in. You know, you, you've seen it go the other way a lot. And I don't know whether they're built in a way that's better able to withstand that sort of heat or if it is just luck sometimes, whatever reason. They hung around. You know, that game could have got away from them and they left themselves in a position to have the luck go their way for once. And boy, being here with the Leafs up 2-1 after the way Tampa Bay played that Saturday night is a significant development. All right, let's let's uh, let's just jump, jump right into it with Sheldon Keefe. First cl- uh, Kipper's Clipper of the Week on just s- Saturday night and just staying with it. Yeah. Credit to our guys because Tampa gave us absolutely everything that they had here tonight and our guys stayed with it. And we get a clutch goal to get us to overtime, and then, I mean, you're you're right there. So, uh, I, I really liked how our guys stayed with it. You know, you look over the last number of years, we've lost this game a lot of times. Today, mm-hmm. our guys stayed with it, made sure we got the win. They took their big punch, Kip. Yep, and I agree with him that they would have they would have lost this game. In the past, last year, they would have lost this game. What was the difference for you? There's a couple, but which is the obvious biggest one? They got the saves. You know, Samsonov was no good. I think the three of us would all agree. In the first, we sent each other enough messages, not just the two goals against, though one is gag, um, but he was not looking like the Samsonov that makes us comfortable. And there was some debate in other group chats I had about should he come out to start the second? And sure enough, he he came out and boy, he looked like a difference maker from then on. See, I I, I won't argue with you because it's just the eye of the beholder. You're not wrong when you say big saves was the biggest difference maker Saturday night. Mine, Ryan O'Reilly. 100%. So you you be the tiebreaker. That's what I was going to say, Ryan O'Reilly. He What a showing. He... That is why you trade what you traded for him at the trade deadline is for a game exactly like that. He was unbelievable. He was, to me, just that 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 calming force mm-hmm. that they have not had in the past. If this is the Leafs without trading for Ryan O'Reilly and you played Saturday night with Austin Matthews and John Tavares, you lose. I think it's as simple as that. You lose. They're, Austin and Tavares were not good enough without Ryan O'Reilly Saturday night. You know... John Tavares in particular, I thought was, you know, he followed up his hat trick with not much of a showing. If his hat trick Thursday night was his best playoff game in his career, that might have been his worst yeah. Saturday night. You know, when that game is uh, being decided, they're down 3 2 and they got six men on the ice. You know who's on the ice? Matthew Nyes, not John Tavares. Like Sheldon yeah. saw it and they they left him on the bench for a pretty yeah. significant moment. So wasn't his night, no doubt about it. O'Reilly, you know, wins that draw clean on the Riley goal in OT. I don't know if Braden Point touches the puck on the face off. It's such a clean win. You know, he he he's available as a decoy on the Achari goal to start the game on the rush. Yeah. He was an absolute all facets of the game star for them. And yeah, it is really unique to see the Leafs trade for someone important, have them yeah. be important. I know we're going to get into that, uh, the grit and the fisticuffs and all of that, uh, but Samsonov, Ryan O'Reilly, honorable mentions for you. Uh, Luke for, Shen. For me, Luke Shen, for sure. Just that presence. Uh, I know the guys on, on the crew on Hockey Night were, were talking about just being that guy that can kind of absorb in between the peer, uh, the benches, yeah. and just his. You don't think Lilligren there. would have done that if he were in that same spot? Uh, no, the lily pad, <laughs> no, would not have. Yeah, it's funny because I don't think that the Leafs need guys to go out and punch people in the face. But I tell you what, they have needed someone to answer 
Tampa's pushes. Yeah. When Tampa has tried to take it to him and change the game with intimidation, yeah. at least the Leafs have been able to hang in there, which they haven't been able to do in the past. So uh, a refreshing change of tone from this group. 